family firms are all around us. Many mom and pop stores around the corner are actually run by family members. But even some of the bigger publicly listed companies are controlled by one or few families. Just think about the retailer Walmart or about the car manufacturer BMW. But many researchers, practitioners and journalists portray those family firms as a relic of the past. Very risk averse, very traditional and going along with a low level of innovation. But is that actually true? There is much empirical evidence, for instance the success of the German innovative Mittelstand, that actually contradicts this view. So studying this puzzle of family firm innovation was the goal of our study. Based on a meta-analysis of more than 100 primary studies, we find the following. First, family firms do indeed invest less into innovation, so they have lower innovation input as compared to non-family firms. Second, despite those lower levels of innovation input, their innovation output is higher as compared to non-family firms. That means that actually their innovation processes are more efficient as compared to non-family firms. Third, those relationships of lower input but higher output are actually more extreme in those cases in which the CEO of the family firm is a member of a later generation. But interestingly, the relationships turn into the opposite, meaning higher input and lower output, when the firm is run by the founder. Lastly, our results also show that the relationships of input and output of innovation in family firm depends on the institutional context, particularly on the level of minority shareholder protection and on the level of the education of the workforce in the respective country. Taken together, the results of our studies actually have an explanation why family firms still flourish in the 21st century. But our hypothesis based on agency theory and resource-based view might also inform non-family firms about how they can make their innovation processes more efficient.